Okay. We're here at VMON 2017 in New Orleans, and I'm speaking with Scott Lewis, who's the VP of Engineering. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your role here at Veeam and you know, maybe where you came from? Sure, absolutely. So I run the systems engineering team for North America. I've been with Veeam uh, about seven and a half years now, so pretty early entrance relative to the growth. When I started, I was in the early hundreds uh, from an employee count. We're over 2,500 now, and when I started, we had about 1,500 customers globally, and we're you know up to that 240 range. So I've been able to kind of live through and build the team out. Uh, from the ground up, more or less, uh, and you know we're we're well over 100 engineers now in, in North America and growing uh, pretty rapidly. So it's it's been a a great ride. Um, prior to joining Veeam, I was with two different resellers in a um, executive role, VP of technology at one and a director of enterprise technology at another. So uh, kind of have that two sides of the coin experience right, and that's really uh, exactly background. and that's you know important here with us being 100% channel so it's uh, kind of a refreshing place to be um, so what's some of the stuff you've been involved in for the conference um, sure I know you're involved with lab wars and uh, some of the other yeah absolutely so I'm on the core team that kind of oversees the tech track here and we have a lot of great things going on at the conference so we had over 500 people go through our VMCE program uh, we had both regular VMCE uh, some of those were partner aligned others were end user aligned uh, and this year we launched our Veeam uh, advanced design and optimization course so it provides VMCEA uh, which is our new Veeam certified architect uh, designation so we had three of those classes go um, more intense you know deeper dive into the technology so we're excited to have launched that um, we have hands-on labs uh, 20 stations where you can actually get down and you know work with the software play with the current version uh, people are enjoying that as well as the booth and the lab wars competition which is uh, which is really an exciting thing that we do here yeah, so what is the Lab Wars competition? Sure, so Lab Wars is kind of a gamification of our software. So what we've done is built some scenarios. Um, for example, you know, we lost the data center in London. You have to fail it over to Singapore and go through the steps that you need to do that. So, well, it's a timed event. Uh, and if you have to kind of ask for a question or something like that, you get a time penalty. And then that rolls up into a leaderboard. And the winner gets $10,000. So wow. it's, it's, it's a, a serious deal. game, yeah. yeah. And so I also, I, we were talking before, and you said you're involved with the channel partners? That yeah. Right? So I, I think my team in general, being 100% channel, that's a major part of what the pre-sales engineers do in, in North America is they're working with and through our partners to enable them and you know teach them how to sell the software, position the software, understand how it fits into their go-to-market strategies. And when you combine that with our ecosystem of partners, you know making that work with the various partner communities is really what we're all about. So I understand you also have uh, testing um, for the VMC program yep. uh, on site. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so it is a proctored test. So we, we have Pearson View on site. So we have it set up so the students that have taken the class can actually go in and take the test while they're here. Hopefully they, they get through it or at least get a dry run. So those are free vouchers the, for the students that took the class to, to give it a shot. So between the class, hands-on labs, and having that available, they've, they've made a great step towards passing the certification. Um, so I, I know you, you run the engineering team, and what are some of the qualities you look for in an SE? Uh, that's a great question, because uh, you know, pre-sales engineering, is a, it's a great career, but it's kind of an accidental career. Nobody kind of thinks about going to college and becoming a pre-sales engineer. So um, really boils down to three attributes that we look for, attitude, acumen, and drive. Uh, and what I mean by that is, uh, from an attitude perspective, it is sales, so you kind of have to be positive in your approach of things. Uh, and drive, it's, it's a very busy busy thing uh, so you, you have to be able to be a self-starter and and you're constantly learning which is um, absolutely key not to mention visiting a lot of partners and users coming to events like this speaking etc and the acumen piece is is a major part of it because you know where we sit in the ecosystem 
Veeam engineers touch every aspect of the data center, from the application stack, networking, storage, you know, pretty much everything you can imagine, and staying on top of things like your VCP, your Microsoft certs, Veeam, uh, there's quite a bit to cover. So for that individual that kind of likes to be challenged and constantly absorb new technology and be on the forefront of it, and at the same time have kind of an extroverted personality a little bit, somebody can sit down and have a beer with, it's a great career. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you, and uh, we look forward to the rest of the uh, conference. Excellent. Thank you.